I'm in Union City, New Jersey, which has a huge Hispanic population from everywhere, from Bolivia to Colombia to Peru. In fact, it's got one of the largest Cuban-American populations outside of Miami. And at the heart of this busy and thriving community are Hispanics who have converted to Islam. That's Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, 40,000 Hispanics in America converted to Islam after 9-11. And how do people respond when you're trying to spread the message? I mean, uh, and that would to We're not trying to convince anyone. We yeah. just want the information out. Yeah. That's it. Any misconception, any questions they have, it's there. But they always listen, yeah. which is what we're trying to do, always yeah. to bring the message and show yeah. them what Islam is really about. Why do you think Islam is drawing Hispanic women in such large numbers? What is it well, about? I mean, I... Nowadays, I mean, especially here at this area, uh, a lot of the women, they don't, they don't even respect themselves, mm -hmm. you know, their bodies. Do you feel you're lo looked up to more as women because you are also sort of Muslims? It's a big difference. You don't have to pay. But the big stereotype that people have, whether it's in this country or anywhere, is women are oppressed. You know, they're subjugated, they're this and that. I mean, look at me. I work. You know, I study. Yeah. You know, they're like, you're not supposed to do that. I'm like, who said yeah. I'm not supposed to do this? Yeah. And you try to demystify Islam because the common person walking around does not know anything yeah, no. about Islam, simply what they see on TV. Which is and terrorism, exactly. violence, and oppression. And so when they see us, they see all these things, and we want them to know who we are and why we are this way. That's the thing. That's the thing. For those who study the course. Yeah. These women from conventional Christian backgrounds had converted around the time of 9-11, but hadn't seemed to have lost their Hispanic identity. How do you balance all the different identities that you have of being Hispanic, women, Muslims, and American? Is that something that's easy to balance all these identities? Well, first and foremost, we're Muslim. Before Puerto Ricans, before we are women, when you come to Islam, God provides you with your rules and regulations that help you to balance every, every aspect of your life. But what I find interesting is, in America, how is Islam adapting to American life and vice versa? Well, um, it's, it does go in hand in hand. In Islam, women have rights, children have rights, men, you know, parents. Everything is balanced. And this is exactly what America is about. And it's in Islam, mm. if you really look deep into it. I just wonder if that experience, though, in, in the years post 9-11, the sort of prejudice and, and ignorance, did it knock your confidence about being Muslim? Actually, you... after September 11th, yeah. the universities were packed with people. They opened the well, doors. I've heard a lot of people exactly. say that, that it did open doors, that they it were changed packed. things. They needed yeah. extra teachers to learn Arabic, to yeah. learn about Why? the religion Why Islam. Why are they doing this? It's yeah. just part and, of it. And yeah. as a result, many more people came into Islam. They did didn't they? A lot. A huge number. And even women who didn't, who were Muslim, who didn't cover it before, mm. um, this was like a reason to do it. They're like, I'm going to show myself, I'm going to show my identity. Mm.